Hey guys, Glaze here bringing you once again another CT setup video. I had a request to create Inferno as the next map on Discord, so that's what I'll do for you today. Inferno is a very important map with rotations being correct and having map control allowing for you to have these rotations correctly and as strong as they can be. If you play Inferno a lot yourself, you will already know in pugs and also team play that utility is very very important on this map. So let's get into the first setup I have for you. Here is one of the most common things you'll see, with only having two towards B, throwing early utility down banana, fighting a little bit for the control, however, you don't want to fully commit for these fights because you are only two players again, so if one of you dies and you only have one player left, it creates a small window for the T's to push quickly and beat the CT rotation onto the B site. Just fighting a little bit and then giving it up as soon as the CTs push and put a lot of pressure on you top banana. And then you can just fall back on towards the site having a crossfire or some sort of B setup. Towards the A site here, we're going to have a player peaking middle looking towards Mexico and mid cross. Just to try and get an entry if possible because making the round into a 4v5 straight from the start would obviously be a very very good thing. With a rifle close to them to make sure they don't get flashed out and extremely pressured and caught off by any T's that might be running up quickly through second mid. And then the third player just in apps, peeking here early, making sure there's no aggression in app very early on into the round. As you can see here, everyone has moved back a lot more passive on the CT side after fighting for the control early on both B and A. Falling back onto the B site with a simple CT and site setup um, on the first oranges and just CT area. But as soon as that CT player is smoked off, he can drop a smoke reactively to stop any T's pushing. With one also on A here, you can see with one boosted up on short and one playing anti-flash underneath boost on short. While the AWPer watches apps for them for any pushes out, the AWPer's in a great position here because they can react either towards long, short or apps depending how the T's push and take control. Here we're going to see a 3 and 2 setup with 3 towards B early and 2 towards A. This is more focused on taking early banana control. For this you will need to be committing for fights around this area a lot more because that is where the majority of your team is at at the current moment. Throwing a deep smoke with two Molotovs, one close and one far, with the fallen flash popping just above your head on car, allowing for both the CTs to peak and take control of this area. For the A players in this situation, you need to be very careful and play around each other very well because you only have two on A early. Um, you should both play towards maybe short or apps or double sight or double pit for example. This is to give the best fights possible and be able to trade each other if needed. I can also suggest to you that you throw a little bit of early utility on either apps or middle. This is to deny any early T presence from either of those positions and to deny as much map control as possible in this time. This is just to deny them as much as you can and just allow for that third player from B after taking banana control to rotate back towards long or arches and help you on the A site. As you can see here, this is a lot later in the round, having a player on logs in banana and a player on car. Resmoking bottle banana whenever is possible. If you are getting a solid read for an A hit, that B player who's on car in this current situation can rotate back towards arches, allowing for the player currently playing arches or long to rotate towards the A site, having a four stack towards A. So right here, I'm just going to go through some setups for both A and B site for you. I have four setups for either site, which you can try out. The first one we're going to be looking at is a A site setup for you. So you may have seen this setup before in pro games, or even you have done this possibly in your team yourself. This is designed all around giving the AWPer an entry kill on boiler and supporting them as best as you can to make sure they don't get picked off after trying to fall back. The AWPer will be watching Boiler as I just said, with a rifle on the left side of them watching middle and another player on the right side of the AWPer looking towards apps, in a sense also playing anti-flash. This is to make sure that if the T's throw a pot flash towards the short on Boiler position, then both the players on the CT will both be flashed off and pushed back, and the third player on short can easily swing around and help them as best as he can. This also goes the same way vice versa, if the T's throw a pot flash out of apps that may catch the short player off, then you also have two players also on short who will not get flash from it because they're looking the other way who can swing around and help them as best as they can here is a more passive setup you will use mid to late in the round um, having a crossfire on mini pit and Dupree box making it very challenging for any T's to push through short and take solo duels so both of these CT players are going to be able to trade each other and play off of each other very well and the AWP will just be simply watching long on the corner um, this player make sure to ask for flashes from the player in mini pit if needed you know if you get flashed off the long corner you can ask for a flash from that player and then you can re-peak the angle 
make sure whoever is orping in this position that you are very very aware of the angles that you can be exposed to because if you step too far away from the wall on long you'll be shot from apps this third setup i have for you can be a little bit more risky for you however if you have players that have very confident aim and are very confident riflers this will work very well having one boosted on short and um, watching towards middle area and possibly boiler at the same time with another player playing directly underneath them pushed up against the pillar playing anti-flash as soon as that player under will hear a flash pop on middle they will swing and help their teammate above them that will be full flash in the situation the op will be playing around long again watching apps also being able to re react looking towards long or short depending on how the t's take control of the round and for your final A setup I'm going to give for you today, this will be a very similar one to the second setup with an AWPA in the same position again on Lung. However, they have a player in Pit and on Cold Box this time. Both these players can jiggle around these positions and really, really mess around with any T's pushing in this area. And it can be incredibly hard for the T's to actually clear both of these positions at the same time because it's such an awkward angle because they also have to be worried about on top of balcony mini pit to pre-box you know there's just a million angles they have to clear and this is a very very strong setup you can do um which will make it very challenging for the t's pushing and now moving on to the B setups I have for you today. So the first setup I'll be showing you on B is probably the most common one you will ever see, to be honest with you. Um, just with one towards CT and another one on site, either playing first or second oranges, for example. Um, the CT player will just have a smoke in their hand, and as soon as they get any contact, they can just be jiggling on the corner. And as soon as they get any contact out, you know, just drop that smoke down, um, denying any further pushes from the T's. Moving on to the second setup I have for you here. This is a great bait and switch setup you can play with one of the players playing second oranges and a player playing new box. It is very important in this setup that you make sure whoever is playing new box you really really play around this second player you have on second oranges okay and make sure to react when they get contact of t's crossing site so you can be jiggling around just messing with the t's kind of and as soon as they start crossing that second oranges player will take contact allowing for you to peek and pick up the pieces this is a very strong setup because you don't have to worry about a player in CT or Coffin getting smoked off in the situation, denying the trade potential for the CTs, making sure both these CTs are together so they can really, really play off of each other. Another strong double site setup here with um, no player on CT and Coffin again to make sure these two players can play around of each other with one in dark and one on first or second oranges. I suggest in this situation, whoever is playing dark here either has an AWP or an auto sniper because it's very easy for you to get some entry kills as the T's are pushing on site and trying to clear multiple angles. And then the second player on first or second oranges can just be throwing a pop flash or just getting a few kills and dropping off and just messing with the angles as well. And for the fourth and final setup I'll show you for B here is having an AWPA on the stairs in a very, very aggressive position here, taking the first shot onto any T's peeking around this corner and then quickly falling back to either towards Fountain or New Box. The CT player here will permanently have a flash or Molotov in their hand ready. As soon as that AWPA shoots their first shot and drops back, you will throw down that smoke and Molotov very fast afterwards to make sure no T's can push and chase the AWPA down. Thank you guys so much for watching my CT setup video on Inferno. Subscribe if you're new to not miss out on any future content I create. As always guys, have a great great day and I'll speak to you very very soon.